For sewing, I started by pinning the various cups together and sew while respecting their sewing allowances. After sewing the cups, let me place it and show you exactly how it looks like. So what I'll do next is to attach the center front piece to the side pieces. I'll first of all pin it down and then I'll take it to the sewing machine and sew while respecting the seam allowances. So guys, this is how it looks like after sewing. Next is to attach the cups to the front piece, just as I'm doing. So I'm pinning while respecting the seam allowances. And the seam allowance I'm working with is 1.5 centimeters. I'm done attaching one side of the cup, guys. So I'll go ahead and attach the other and show you how it looks like. After attaching, I went ahead and notched so the cups can fit perfectly. I also did same for the front lining piece. What I'll do next is to attach these breast cups. Here in Cameroon, it costs 800 francs to 1000 francs. Some call it breast cups, while others call it breast parts. Whatever the case, this white form I'm holding is what I'm referring to as the breast cup or the breast part. I'll be attaching the breast part on the lining piece. So just make sure that the center of the breast part which you notched is lying directly on top of the seam that separates the two sides of the breast cup on the lining piece. Now stitch and repeat the same procedure on the other side of the breast cup on the lining. Guys, as you can see, I'm done attaching the breast part on the lining piece. So what I'm doing now is attaching the back pieces of the upper part of the dress to the front piece. If your eyes can't tell you where your seam allowance is, you can always use a measuring tape. So you will have accurate results. As you can see guys, I'm done attaching the front piece to the back piece. I also place my front and back yokes off camera and then I'm attaching the lining onto the main fabric, right sides facing each other. So attach like this and stitch at a 1.5 cm seam allowance. Now I'll go ahead and notch at various points so that the dress can sit nicely when I turn it inside out. After notching, I'll turn it inside out and then I'll top sew this seam onto the lining piece at a 2mm seam allowance and I'll do that off camera. I'm done guys. I've also attached the front and the back yokes at the shoulder. Now guys, I'm preparing the sleeves to attach. Remember, our sleeves are gathered uh, sleeves and I use a tube fabric. So I'm gradually pulling out this thread in order to gather the, the sleeve. If you have watched a video on how I drafted this dress, you will see that after drafting the sleeve, I left a band at the hem of the sleeve. So this is the band that I cut out using an Ankara fabric. So I'm attaching the band onto the tube. I'll first of all pin like this before sewing because I want to make sure that all the tube fabric is sewn onto the Ankara fabric. After sewing like this, I'll first of all fold the band at 1.5 centimeters and then I'll fold it over onto the tube fabric like this, making sure that the seam is covered inside. 
when I'm done I'll attach the sides of the sleeves and I'll sew and then next will be to attach it I'm pinning the sleeve on the armhole of the upper part of the dress and I'll sew it all round. When I'm done stitching, I'll attach the lining onto the flea as I told you when I was cutting. It's a light Ankara fabric so I'm doubling it so it can have some weight. Guys, I went and attached the inner lining off camera. And then now I'll be attaching the flay on the upper part of the dress. When cutting the flay, I added value for pleats and uh, seam allowances. So I'll be creating some pleats where I have the, the dart seams and the side seams, both in front and behind the dress. I'm done pinning the flay to the upper part of the dress guys so I'll sew and then I'll show you how it looks like. Now guys it's time to attach the zipper and I have an easy method of doing that. The secret is to first of all sew both the main fabric and the lining piece at a 3 cm seam allowance right up to where you want your zipper to end. At that level, leave out the lining piece and sew the main fabric right to the hem. Now I've undo the stitches and I'm attaching the zipper following a line which I press using a steam iron after stitching. So it's very easy and it makes the zipper to slip so perfectly behind the dress. After attaching the zipper on the main fabric, I'll also have to attach it on the lining piece so that the dress will have a clean look when I'm done. So I'll fold the lining over the zipper like this, inside out, making sure that I'm stitching on the zipper tip. So guys, I'll do this on both sides of the of the lining and I'll show you how clean the lining looks inside. So guys, you see, this is the lining inside. Now let me take out the sleeves so you can see. Thanks for watching guys. If you learned something from this video, please leave a comment at the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't like and share thank you